Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck here doing an accessory review. This is with Hall Gauge. That's the app on your phone, the little plug that goes into your onboard diagnostics port that has accelerometers and measures your torque converter, uses the torque converter as a scale, and you can measure your tongue weight, your weight distributing weight, all with the pitch from the accelerometer. The rest of it comes from the torque converter versus your rear wheels and all the calculations that it makes, but it's really cool. This came out a couple years ago. I've tested them every year. I really like them. I like to know what my trailer weighs. I like to know what my tongue weight is. So we're taking my new 150 and our Iron Bull dump trailer for our first trailer. Then we're going to do a, a flatbed trailer and see how it comes out. So we'll do some testing today so you know just how it all works. But I think it's awesome. So come join us. So it's 5,800 pounds. Well, today we're testing Hall Gauge again. I've tested this a year ago and two years before that. And they're still going strong and they keep getting better. Getting more vehicles in the lineup. And so now I've got the empty truck. So anyway, I'm going to try to test this out today and see what we can learn. And hopefully if we have enough daylight, we'll do the trailer and the tongue weight, maybe even the weight distributing hitch. So we are going to know everything here in a little bit. So I think I'm out of the sun. I was worried about being in the sun. So I've got my phone. All I got to do is bring up my Hall Gauge app. And I, did, I updated it because they, they really work hard to get new stuff. So there you go. There's the main screen. You see all those little things? It shows the way in the truck, way in the truck in the trailer, pin weight. And I think, yeah, it does have weight distributing, payload, all that's right there on the app, which is really cool. So I'm going to try to get all that done, make sure I get enough pictures of this. Turn my camera on. Okay, I'm going to try the empty weight again. I've got the app pulled up. Let's see if I can. Then I'm going to go into, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to weigh this. See where we come in at. Drive a straight line, accelerate mid pedal through 15 miles an hour. And that's what I'm going to do. And now, go to the next screen. It says uh, app needs location access to activate Bluetooth. So I'll push that button and see what it says. Goes back to the main screen. Now I've got this thing plugged in, and you plug it in to the onboard diagnostics port, which is where it is. So, let me try that again. Push on the truck. Please make sure this app has location access. Well, I don't know if it does or not. Let's see. Push this little star. I'm going to start off with a new VIN number. Let's see. Huh. You know, what I've learned over the years, when the phone's not working right, you turn it off and turn it back on. And hopefully that'll fix it. Now this, I've done this before, and it works so well. Got to remember the mathematical formula here is force equals mass times acceleration. But uh, that's Newton's law, second law of motion. And it's uh, the force is determined by measuring a slip across a torque converter as the vehicle accelerates through 15 miles an hour while the vehicle is in first gear. And there's a fixed relationship between wheel rotation and the turbine side of the converter. Acceleration is determined by accelerometer on board the hall gauge device. That's the part plugged into the onboard diagnostics port down there. But this is all scientific. It's really cool. But it's, you know, it's mainly to do tongue weight, pin weight, payload weight, distributing, all that. So you can get the weight of the trailer, weight of both of them. Combined weight rating, that's everything. That's cargo, passengers, trailer. 
but you're not guessing this is so cool you don't have to always go find a scale they're not easy to find and they're expensive and most of the semi scales are you know off lady 20 pound increments so it saves you time and then it's the knowledge of knowing that you're not overloaded because you know that happens a lot people don't know what their trailer weighs and they're out there you know wondering why their brakes are burning up or why they're swerving all over so you know it's all part of it and this is so cool it's right on your phone and you just plug in that one the computer into the onboard diagnostics port under your dash and you can calculate everything entered my VIN number and then I hit continue now it's searching for my vehicle calibrations place the vehicle on level ground front to back shift to neutral release the brake oh that's cool tells you how to do that you place it on level ground put it in neutral release the brake see if it rolls <laughs> okay neutral we're not moving okay so we'll say the set is level hmm and this is cool. I want to make sure because if I showed this to you, this was all things you can do from weighing the truck, weighing the truck and the trailer, pin weight, payload, which is cargo, and then you got weight distributing hitch and combined, which is so cool. Combined truck and trailer. Push, just weigh in the truck. Prepare to weigh. Drive level load. We're already here, and I want you to accelerate. To the mid zero to mid mid throttle and go to zero to 15. You'll do that several times. That's how this works. And that's how it uses the torque converter to weigh you. Because it knows your acceleration and your angle. And it's the angle and all that that helps you figure out um, what your payload is in your trailer. You do that by your angle, but it changes the angle. That's, you know, all through your accelerometer. Really cool. So hit the ready button. It's from a complete stop. Drive a straight line. Accelerate mid-pedal. You know, halfway. And uh, you go up to 15 miles an hour. Now, what was cool is this will actually tell you when you get to 15 miles an hour, besides watching your gauges. So I'm going to accelerate 15 miles an hour. And there you go. It tells me when to stop. This is way is complete, man. That was fast. Holy cow! Wow, I must have memory in here because I just did this like three days ago, and I had to weigh it several times. This time, it's right on top of that. So that shows it's a little under six. So there's five. By golly, that's pretty accurate. It shows a little under six, and that's as I recall. My weight is like five seven something. There we go. It was 57.20. And that's very accurate, very close. I mean, I wish this had just small increments, and I'll see them at SEMA, so maybe that's what they'll come out. But it shows 57.20 is what the scale showed. And if you look in there, it's right under 6. And the dash before that is 5, so you're almost 6. So hopefully I'll see these guys at SEMA. We'll see if they got uh, less increments so you can really dial in by looking at this. But I know it's under 6. And it's got to be around that 5,700, which is cool. But this one, man, one time, 15 miles an hour, and bam, there it is. So now we're going to go. So there you see it. It's right under 6. 5,000 is the mark before that. So it's you know, around 57, 58, right in that range, which is really cool. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop-Up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, the crew cab short bed. So, protect that window.
trying to go forward with it as I do it. Here's Mr. Big Truck jacking the trailer up. Is it clearing? Yeah, we're clear. We got okay. Here. So you can see under the ball that we are off the ball and there's no weight on it. Now we're going to push all these buttons on the hull gauge again. There you go. We're clear. Okay, now I'm out here with my Hall Gauge app on my phone pulling this tilt trailer. So I'm trying to figure out tongue weight. So of course what you do, you jack the trailer up off the ball and I'm sitting on the ground with my jack. And now I just gotta look at the app and I think I, I shut the truck off, that's part of it. Let's see what else we're supposed to do. Okay, here's the app. See if I can get it out of the sun so you can see it. Maybe I need to go the other way. I can see right there, that's tongue weight. So I'm gonna push that, see what it says. Okay, it shows a picture of the tongue. Man, I'm gonna try to find the right place so you can see the app. So there's a picture of the, the trailer and the truck. And you lift it up. And here in the shade, and it says position vehicle so coupler is overballed and turn the engine off. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jack the trailer up so there's a gap, and then we're gonna shut the engine off. Okay, trying to do tongue weight on this load trail tilt trailer. And here we go. We backed up to the trailer so the coupler's above the ball, like it shows there, and then we're gonna hit ready. Wonder if I should be in the cab when I do that. Okay. Okay, now I'll lower the hold on, I shut the truck off. A coupler. Here we are, measuring tongue weight. The coupler is above the ball. We're gonna hit ready. And it should zero out the scale. There we are, red zero. Okay. So now I'm going to shut the engine off. See, you should never volunteer because now you got to jack it up again or jack it down. You want to do that? Yeah. I'm already getting tired watching you. So now, we're gonna put the ball and the coupler back together again. Drop the hitch on the ball, and hopefully we'll get a difference in the pitch, the angle of the rear of the truck measured by the accelerometer in the hull gauge. So there's my assistant, so Dan Atkinson. He is Mr. Big Truck. You see him in videos. Probably should see more than his arm, there he is. Oh, there he is beating up my poor toolbox. The toolbox is not armed. Now you can see on the scale it's going up as he's lowering the coupler, which is really cool. Keeps lowering on the ball. We're off the ground, sir. Okay, we're off the ground. It looks like uh, 700 pounds. But the jack is indeed off the ground. Not that we have any jacks. There we go, it's off the ground. 700 pounds. So that's cool. Now I'm going to see what the, the test did. Okay. And this is my gross combined, 13,360. That's the truck and this flatbed tilt trailer. Combined weight rating, 10,360. Truck weighed around 5,300, 5,000 for the trailer. So 5,000 pounds with a 700 pound tongue weight. 
did a couple tongues weights one weight distributing and a couple combined weight ratings and a couple truck individual ratings and I think because of how they update it constantly the more often you weigh the more accurate it is and I've also noticed they tell you to go to medium speed I think you're better off to go a little faster than that so you can be really precise with your haul gauge instrument but it's fun it's nice to get a pretty good estimate on what you weigh and make sure you're not overloaded because overloaded causes problems you have bearing problems brake problems suspension problems and besides wanting to be legal you also that's our hull gauge presentation of what we've learned about it I've been using them off and on for three years they first came out with the dial and they came out with a phone app and I think they're cool I think they can save you money and make you safer which makes me safer if I'm driving anywhere near you with the trailer so hit the subscribe button hit the bell button hit all kinds of buttons keeps us in business I can feed the grandkids